my name is Casey Stewart. I'm a Toronto-based blogger and director, and I started my blog 12 years ago, and it's called Casey Stewart, This Is My Life. I would define an influencer as anyone who has a certain level of impact over a specific group or a specific genre, maybe fashion, tech, beauty, and that can be someone that's a micro-influencer on a smaller scale within a peer group or a community, or a big influencer like a celebrity. Look for people who are already passionate about your brand. Use Twitter search, use Facebook search, check out Instagram. Find people who maybe have already mentioned your brand. Another great way to find influencers is to work with a PR agency because they know the influencers, they know what brands would be a good partnership for them, and they know what they're good at. I think when you're looking at budget, it's really important to take into account what size audience the influencer has. And sponsorship can come in an in-kind sponsorship, so something like a trade, or you can work your way up the scale as a sponsored Instagram post, a sponsored tweet, or a full-fledged campaign where you're looking at spending a couple hundred dollars versus a couple thousand dollars, and that can go way up. Usually a campaign starts with an email, uh, either comes from the brand itself or their peer agency. They, have, they pitch an idea and if it's a great fit, then we create an agreement and the agreement has dates of when content is going to be published and also has what content is going to be published and where. Also outlines all the hashtags and all the lingo that needs to be used. And then after that, uh, once the agreement is signed by all the parties, that helps to hold everyone accountable and then we execute the agreement and start creating content. A successful campaign can be defined as whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. Are you looking to gain new fans and followers? Are you looking to get contest entries? Are you looking to reach a new audience? If you define your KPIs at the start of your campaign, it's a lot easier to determine how successful that was and what the ROI of your campaign was. Another thing is, you never know, maybe if you didn't reach the exact numbers that you were going for, there could be other benefits like new fans or a new audience um, and maybe on the one-off chance you go viral, but don't make that your strategy. That is not a strategy. So if you're a small business, don't be afraid to reach out to an influencer about an in-kind partnership. I've done tons of things when someone sent me an email and I really loved their brand or what they were doing and we worked out a deal. And that could be maybe um, classes at your gym or clothes, shoes, trips, that stuff goes a long way, especially if someone's already a fan of your brand. 